It was just like my mother. Yeah. yeah. Because she's the one who brought me from nowhere. Mm -hmm. And brought me to what I am today. Malena was unique. Um, somebody who decided to serve others. Um, the story goes that she made up her mind about uh, going into service of others as early as when she was five years old. Uh, Annalena was well known in Wajia. Uh, when I finished my college in MTC, I went to work in the TB Manyata, which is a founding member on behalf of the government. So that's where I first met her in 1982. <laughs> Nakto had no Gisial, or Mam Sakin to Lugin or Bressina Jertal, Slanty Ali Kenny, Ah, Wajer, but dear Lucan, Magara, Wajer Ali Kenny, either Retia Lucan, Jit the Corahilia, Menanka Sali Ali Digi, either Lusso Yeri, Gary I Kenty, Why a Cadi? A white lady came. She was with a friend who was called uh, Maria, uh, Maria Teresa. Uh, the lady who came to me was called Annalena Tonelli. So she just greeted me and she was very friendly. She gave me some presents, then left. After some few days, she came and visited me again. Uh, after staying for some time, Annalena Tonelli decided to take me to school together with the Gedo Ali was also a visually impaired child like me. Uh, he took us to a school called St. Lucy, St. Lucy's School for the Blind. And it was just like my mother, because she's the one who brought me up from nowhere. At the time that I was almost maybe five, four years, she brought me from the bush, she brought me to her place, and she took me to school. She would never talk to journalists, she would not want publicity. Uh, even when she got that award, she was very clear. So that's why you find very few pictures of hers. Um, basically, somebody who decides, I want a different type of life and I want to serve people. And she never used religion as being the main population she served being Somali, she's never used religion. Analina and uh, a few others, uh, Mohamed Elmi, the minister, Dr. Dabar, who is now, uh, used to be with, uh, I think, uh, Khalil Bazity, uh, and a few others, um, Nur Osman, who we call, famously called Nur Alub. They actually took a vehicle and started collecting those people who were being thrown out, very far away from, from, uh, from their places, and those who were injured and taking them to hospital and all that. So that action of saving people who are being killed by their own government is what brought Anina to, to, have, to, the, no, to the picture much more than the TV. The TV Mayata she was running, which is also a very noble project. I think basically what happened is that uh, the event was very clear. The, uh, the time I was at the hostel and IDT, so we knew people had been collected. Two of my brothers were already part of it. And the day one, we thought they would be released. Day two, they would be released. Day three, we started hearing horrible stories about people dying. And um, 
of course, majority of people were afraid. So I went to Annalena, she was willing to, when some people escaped, to go. So we went with her up to the, to the Wagala itself, when the military operation was still going on. We thought people had been released. We talked, we had an argument with the people who were there. They told us, you know, nothing has been released. And we went out there and a few people who have escaped who were injured, we collected them. And then the following night, most of the people's bodies were dumped and even the people who were alive were dumped. So around almost 4 or 5 a.m. I went to a place and we went out now collecting in different directions uh, people. And her place was packed with the injured. So we worked very closely for a long time on that particular period. The best thing that I would like to the people to adapt or to check from what Annalena did is one generosity. She was very generous to everybody. You must learn to serve others. We must learn to sacrifice our time, money, life, and all that is within your reach for the sake of others, especially the disadvantaged. What are you saying? Then, on the day that the city of Akola lay in Ankara, the fadl had no longer been the city of Akola camp. Had no longer been that strong eye or masakin to take it. Had no longer been that that kafirna eye, malaha, akala ayko baayin, salka ayko wala sakayin. In one word. In English, probably a female is called a hero. I think the, the word is service to humanity.